Alright guys, so front 360. This trick will break your heart. This trick will make you mad. This trick will make you dizzy too. You know why? Because you probably don't know how and that's why you're watching this. If you do know how, hopefully you can add some tips at the end of this video on the comment section. But, but for reals guys, front 360, such a cool trick. It's like a front 180, but way cooler in so many ways. So for front 360, you kind of want to put your foot right here in the middle, like right here. What I mean right there is right there. Because what you're going to do with your back foot is you're going to use so much force to scoop it or pop it. I don't know whatever way it feels comfortable but for you, but I kind of like scoop. I kind of don't even pop the trick. I kind of do the scoop motion more because whenever I twist, I'll get to that part first. I mean, I'll get to that part in a second. But whenever you do the scoop motion, which is the that, that's what I do. That's how I do front three. Some people can pop and do it amazingly. There's kind of two ways. So the scoop motion is with this back foot, you come to this corner and you just, right here, this is where you want your front foot kind of like a little out not too much you want it that much out just because when you do the scoop motion this foot is gonna use so all right we're right there but use that motion to kind of guide the the front so if you can if that makes sense look your foot kind of doesn't fly off it stays because you're it's out so what I'm talking about is when you do the scoop motion which is this like like that this one's over here and it gets kind of, I don't want to say stuck, but it stays because of the nose going up. So that's why you have it out like that. All right, so I explained those two parts right there. The other part that is really important, shoulders, spinning. All right, now pretend I'm on the board. Let me get a little back so you could see. So pretend I'm on the skateboard. What you want to do is do this. You're winding up. It's like, you know, when you wind a top and it spins. So you're winding up, however you do it, this is how I do it, and I go like this. So when I go like that, and my shoulders are completely with the board again, because look, the board is straight like this, my shoulders are like this, turned, so I'm winding up. So I'm winding up going that way. I'm making a, a right spin, crazy. So I'm going like this. I'm winding up, and when I get to the board, I pop if that makes sense so winding up pop right here and what you want to do is have your your head turn with you so anywhere your head goes your shoulders are gonna follow it's like a, a whole rotation movement spin top thing it's crazy to explain it makes if this doesn't make sense to you I'm sorry I'm doing my best this is like one of my favorite tricks to do by the way so let me see if this works so what you want to do is have it right there for the scoop motion, right there for the the part where your board's gonna stay still, and then the shoulder part. So this is how I go. That was it. I didn't even move. There was no movement whatsoever. I didn't roll or nothing, and I did it. A front 360. Now I did say it in the beginning that there's a pop. Some people pop it, and that's crazy. You could try that. But to me, I don't do popping. I literally do the scoop motion where it's like, like that. Some people can, and just literally go like that. You can try both ways, but I definitely recommend you doing the scoop motion for front 360. Also for the front 360, doing it on a side or pyramid will help you so much to get used to that motion. I highly recommend that you also go for the pyramid and just practice there a bunch. Go for that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this trick tip, helped you out in any type of way. Let me know what trick I should do next. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Sign out to the next.